So as an artist, I'm transforming what I'm seeing. I'm capturing perpetual time. I'm capturing especially the vibration of time. This is not a photographic vision that I'm painting. This is my vision of a certain period of time, this vibration, this energy, and I'm putting all of what I'm seeing condensed into one painting. And that's why the paintings never look static or frozen in that moment of time. The photographer, that's what they're doing, and that is why photography has become so immensely important to the history of art, is that it's the choice of the artist to choose that particular moment. In this type of painting, my work, I am choosing to show the vibration of life that happens in a certain period of time. The paintings sometimes look abstract, and sometimes they don't. And that's because this vibration of life is captured. But there is a phenomena that I can't explain, and uh, several art professionals have tried to uh, explain it. We've discussed it. And there is this quality of this work that, that is such that the closer you get to the paintings themselves, the more abstract they become. As soon as you step away, they start to resemble something that you know and recognize. And what is happening there is that there is this mirroring of your personal experience. It is the way that you are seeing what I've done, and that is what makes it real on some level for you, which I think is a really interesting concept. And that also is the way that artists work so that the, the spectator can see something in relationship to their own personal experience. And that is definitely what's happening in these paintings.